Good evening, Mr. McKenzie. Uh, you, you called Croydon a dump yesterday. Did, How you doing, did, David? What? Hi there. Did, why, why do you think Croydon's How a dump? Doing? I've lived in Croydon ever since, I, ever since I was five years old. I came to this country, my parents worked hard, and I've watched Croydon grow and grow and grow. And over the years, the people of Croydon have been deceived, disenfranchised by their local governments. And the UKIP fox came along and feathers are rustling tonight. There are feathers everywhere. They fail to reach the wider community. And it will always be that way. Tonight, you're seeing the beginning of something absolutely phenomenal, David, because people from Labour, Conservatives, not to mention the nondescript Liberal Democrats, the Greens don't even come into it. They're all learning a very harsh lesson. Nigel Farage has led his party to something absolutely fantastic. What a great leader. And it's this type of leadership that this country needs today. And if you're British, whether you be black, white, yellow or pink, you've got to get out there. You've got to get out there and defend this country and, it's, and all that it stands for. All that it stands for. You ask me why I thought Croydon had become a dump? It's, it's, it's simply because the people have been disenfranchised. So, so, uh, so just to interrupt you for a moment, so the issue for you is not so much UKIP as pulling out of Europe, but all the other things people are upset by. Immigration and cost of living and That's everything. Right, but it, it, it's, not, it's not just the immigration, David. What's happened is there's been this massive drive about racism. And the word racism has been demeaned and diminished. When it's used now, it doesn't mean a single thing. Because certain sections of the, um, the, the press, together with um, the coalition, have used it as a political weapon. They've played the race card 100%. How do you if mean? I How do you mean? In, in what way have they done said, that? In what way have they done that? They've used the race... They've used... They, they've turned around and said that um, you keep a racist. Now, I'd like to know, whenever did an Englishman um, have to fight against the colour of his skin? Now, I'm a black man and I'm proud. But the simple fact is, the media have turned around and said, that man is black, you can't call him black. You can't. And now we have a situation whereby... The word racism means nothing. So the media, together with the three main parties, have used this race card to trick, to fool, and condemn the people into believing that our party is a racist party. Our right. leader, Nigel Farage, is a Christian man. Okay. And why would I be involved with a bunch of racists? Tell me what you think is going to happen in Croydon tonight, and, and indeed at the general election. Well... I believe in Croydon tonight, we'll do very well. Whether or, not, whether or not we'll make any real fantastic gains, I'm not certain yet. But I do know that the strategy in the rest of London and some parts in Kent and what have you, there have been significant change. All you can hear, David, is UKIP, UKIP, UKIP. This party and its leader have changed the face of British politics. And these guys sitting back, they keep coming with this rhetoric that one day everyone will change their minds and return to the status quo. Well, the status quo is no more. Guys, you need to wake up. You need to wake up. It's all gone wrong. It's a disaster. Labour have lost votes. The Conservatives have lost votes. And no one seems to want to know the truth. Some people, David, they just like to live a lie. They live a lie. Mr. McKenzie, thank, they don't thank want you. To face the truth. Thank you very much indeed, and thanks for joining thank us. You. So, Emma Reynolds.